let me define first what is series of discounts or discount series discount series it is a type of discount in which several discounts are given to a customer at different times and different conditions the seller grants additional discounts other than the discount ordinarily given to the customer for example aside from the regular 10 percent discount a seller may grant an additional discount of five percent to the customer so now the discount series is 10 percent and five percent and take note we cannot add the two discounts and make it 15 percent we shall see it later as i discuss the topic what is the purpose of discount series discount series are given to customers in order to encourage them to purchase in large quantities or volume so discount series is an effective way to promote seasonal products and to entice new set of customers let me give you this problem dear students before we will proceed to our discussion suppose a discount series of 20 percent 10 percent and 5 percent is given to a certain product answer the following questions a will it be the same as adding the discounts together and apply a 35 percent single trade discount then the second question how can we obtain an equivalent one-time discount rate for the series of discounts of 20 percent 10 percent and five percent we will answer these questions the students at the end of our video i have a problem here compute for the discount and the net invoice price if a product is listed at 1500 pesos and given a 20 percent and 10 percent discount okay so find a discount b net invoice price there are three methods that we can use in finding the discount series so we're going to solve first using the method one okay so let's determine first what are the given in this problem okay so we have the less price of 1500 and then the series of discounts of 20 percent and 10 percent okay so with that we proceed to the solution okay so less price okay so we have a less price of 1500 and then less 20 percent of 1500 okay so how much it is okay so it is 300 pesos okay so when you see open and close parentheses so it means deduction okay so how much will be the balance or the difference okay so 1500 less 300 okay so the balance is 
1,200 pesos. And then, you still have one discount. Okay, so less... Ten percent of the balance, which is one thousand two hundred. Okay, so ten percent of one thousand two hundred is one hundred twenty. Okay, so one hundred twenty, and then the net invoice price. Okay, is. one thousand eighty pesos okay okay so i'll show you again less price one thousand five hundred less twenty percent of one thousand five hundred which is three hundred and then you find the difference okay so the difference is 1200 pesos and then less with the 10 percent discount okay so 10 percent of the balance which is the 1200 okay so 120 and then the we can um we can obtain now the net invoice price of 1080 pesos and then we can also determine now the total discount okay so how much is the total discount okay so we just add the first discount of 300 and then the second discount of 120 so the total discount is 420 pesos or you can use the the formula in finding the discount the one that i have discussed on the first video less price minus or less the net invoice price okay so our less price is 1500 and then the net invoice price of 1080 okay so the discount is still the same 420 pesos okay. so this is the first method in solving for the series of dis discounts or discount service try to familiarize it the students Now I will show you the second method in finding the discount service using the same problem. The first thing we need to do is to determine the NIP rate of the first discount. Okay, so NIP rate. The NIP invoice price rate. Okay, so 100% less the first discount, which is the 20%. Okay, so the NIP rate is 80%. Okay, then with that, we can find the net invoice price. Okay, net invoice price. Okay, a less price of 1,500, okay, multiply by the NIP rate of 80%. Okay, so 
1,500 times 0.80. Okay, so the first balance, the first net invoice price is 1,200 pesos. Okay, so that is the first invoice price. And then we proceed to determine the NIP rate of the second discount. Okay. So 100% less 10%. Okay, so the NIP rate is 90%. Okay, so then, then using the, the formula, we can find the net invoice price. Okay, so 1,200 pesos. Okay, then multiply by the NIP rate of 90%. Okay, point 0.90. Okay, so... The second balance is 1,080 pesos. Okay. Okay, so again, determine first the NIP rate of the 20%. Okay, so 100% less 20% equals 80%. And then multiply the 80% to the last price of 1,500. So we obtain the first balance of 1,200. And then we determine the NIP rate for the second discount, which is 10%. So 100 less 10%. So we have NIP rate of 90% and then multiply the 90% to the balance of 1,200. Okay, so we have the net invoice price of 1,080 pesos. And then to determine the discount, okay, so the same formula less price minus net invoice price so 1500 less 1080 okay so our discount is 420 pesos okay so this is the second method in finding the discount now we're going to use the method three in solving for the discount series so the first thing we need to do is we need to convert the series of discounts to single equivalent rate i repeat we need to convert the series of discounts to single equivalent Rate. So, how are we going to do it? Okay, so we need to deduct the series of discounts individually from 100%. Okay, so this is how are we going to do it. Okay, so I will write step 1. Okay, so 100%. Okay, less... 20% okay so we have 80% and then the second one um, 100 percent less 10 percent so we have 90 percent okay so Let's say this is A and this is B. Okay, then we proceed to step two. Okay, so 
Okay, so multiply the resulting products by themselves to give us the net invoice price rate. So we need to multiply the resulting products by themselves. Okay, so that we can obtain the net invoice price. Okay, so A times B. Okay, so 80% and then multiply to 90%. Okay, so it will be 72 percent okay then step three deduct this nip rate okay so now this is our nip rate okay so deduct this nip rate from 100 percent to get the single equivalent rate okay so we need to deduct this nip rate to 100% so that we can have our single equivalent rate. Okay, so single equivalent rate. Okay, so 100%. Okay. Less seventy two per cent. Okay, so our single equivalent rate is how much? Twenty eight per cent. Okay, so now we have our single equivalent rate. Okay, now we can solve for our discount. Okay, so Okay, so the formula for determining the discount, less price multiplied by the single equivalent discount rate, okay, or single equivalent rate, okay, so less price of 1,500, then multiply by 28% okay so our discount is 420 pesos okay and then to solve for the net invoice price Okay, so less price multiplied by NIP rate. Okay, so how much is our NIP rate? This is our NIP rate, 72%. Okay, so 1,500 pesos multiplied by 72% percent okay so our net invoice price is 1080 pesos okay so let me walk through with you okay so step one okay so 100% less 20% so we have our 80% okay then 100% minus 10% we have 90% and then we multiply the 80% by 90% to determine the NIP rate so this is our NIP rate Okay, so that you will not be confused. Okay, so to determine also our single equivalent rate or single equivalent discount rate. Okay, so 100% minus 72%. So our 
single equivalent discount rate is 28%. And then we can solve for the discount. Okay. Less price of 1,500 multiplied by the single equivalent rate or discount rate, 28%. So we have 420 pesos as our discount. And then we can solve now for our net income price, which is less price multiplied by the NIP rate of 72%. Okay, so our net invoice price is 1,080 pesos. Okay, so I hope, I hope you were able to, to get the method 3. Okay, so try to familiarize the three, the three method students and it will be easy for you let us now answer the questions that I had given on the first part of our tutorial video suppose a discount series of 20% 10% and 5% is given to a certain product answer the following questions a will it be the same as adding the discounts together and apply a 35% single trade discounts. And the second question is, how can we obtain an equivalent one-time discount rate for the series of discounts of 20%, 10%, and 5%? Okay, so let us assume that our product is a video camera with a less price of 35,000 pesos okay so with a series of discounts of 20% 10% and 5% okay so Will it be the same as adding the discounts together? So if we're going to add this series of discounts, so it will come up, okay, it will sum up to 35% and apply it as a single trade discount. Okay, so let's try. Okay, so let's write it as a solution A. Okay, so discount we use the formula discount less price multiplied by the discount rate okay so discount rate okay so our less price is 35000 pesos multiplied by 35% okay so the discount is 12,250 pesos okay and then we can solve now for the net invoice price Okay, so the formula for net invoice price, less price, less the discount. Okay, so 35,000 pesos, less 12,250 pesos. Okay, so our net invoice price is 22,750 pesos let's do the solution B using the series of discounts so I will be using the method one 
in determining the discount series or series of discounts. Okay, so solution B. Okay, so the last price is 35,000. Okay, so 35,000 less 20% of 35,000 pesos. Okay, so it will be 7,000 pesos. And then the difference, okay, so the difference is 28. Thousand pesos, so thirty-five thousand less seven thousand pesos, and then we use again the second discount series, which is the ten percent. Okay, so we write less ten percent of twenty-eight thousand pesos, which is two thousand. 800 pesos okay so the difference is 25,200 so 28,000 less 2,800 and now we apply the last series of discounts which is the 5% Okay, so to come up with the net invoice price. So 5% of 25,200, okay, so which is 1,260 pesos. Okay, so our net invoice price is... 23,940 pesos. 25,200 pesos less 1,260 pesos. So our net invoice price is 23,940 pesos. Okay, so if we're going to compare to the solution A, okay, so the net invoice price is 22,750 pesos using the single trade discount of 35%. And then the solution B, which we use the series of discounts of 20%, 10%, and 5%. Okay, so our net invoice price is 23,000 940 okay so the series of discounts is favorable to the sealer okay so let's determine the total discounts okay so let me write it let me use the red pen discount okay so we have 7000 plus 2,800 and then plus 1,260 okay so the total discount is 11,060 pesos okay so we can see okay using the single trade discount of 35% so the discount is 12,250 this is favorable to the customer or buyer and then the total discount using the the series discount is only 11,060 pesos okay so series of discounts or discount series is favorable to the sealer or manufacturer.
we proceed to answer the second question. How can we obtain an equivalent one-time discount rate for the series of discounts of 20%, 10%, and 5%? So the first step is we need to deduct the series of discounts individually from 100%. Okay, so let's do it. 100% okay less the first series of discounts of 20% okay so we have 80% and then the second discount 100% less 10% okay so we have 90% Okay, then the last series of discounts, 100% less 5%, we have 95%. Okay, so the second step is to multiply the results okay, among themselves. So the 80%, the 90%, and the 95%, so that we can obtain the net invoice price rate okay so net invoice price rate okay so we convert the percent into decimal so it will be easy okay so point 80 multiplied by point 90 multiply by 0.95 so our NIP rate is 0 0.684 then we convert to percent okay so 68.4 percent okay so that is our net invoice price rate okay so the next step deduct the NIP rate from 100% to get the single equivalent rate okay since we have the NIP rate okay so we can get now our single equivalent rate get a single equivalent rate okay so 100% less 68.4 percent okay so we have 31.6 percent so this is the answer of the questions of single equivalent rate let us solve the discount to determine if we have the same answers okay so discount less price multiply by the single equivalent rate okay so our less price is 35,000 and our single equivalent rate is 31.6 percent Okay, so our discount is 11,060 pesos. And then the net invoice price. Okay, so we use the formula less price multiply by the NIP rate. Okay, so our last price is 35,000 and our NIP rate is 68.4 percent okay so our net invoice price is 23,940 pesos Thank you for watching this tutorial video, dear students. 
don't forget to subscribe and follow our YouTube channel, Bright Minds. And I would like to leave you these words. Study to show thyself, approve unto God and unto man. Don't forget to pray and God will help us.